welcome to a new vlog. We're on our way to Charlotte, North Carolina. We'll be there in two hours and eight minutes. So I hope you enjoyed the journey. Detect. Forgot to yeah. <laughs> forgot to say that um, we're first of all going to the Carolina Panthers Stadium before we check into the hotel or anything because the team shop closes at four and we like going to all the team shops. It's good fun. Um, <clears throat> Today is Saturday and we're excited because we have a hotel instead of an Airbnb for tonight and tomorrow. It's the only time in the trip that we have it, so. It might have a pool. I think it has a gym. Mm. And it might have a pool, like it has a pool, but we don't know if it's open yet or not. Last year it started tomorrow, so we're hoping maybe, maybe if we're lucky. It is 30 degrees. Yeah, so yeah, wish us luck. five below I thought I'd let you know we were driving and I almost choked and died on my lollipop so we pulled over and we ended up at this junction that's got um, it's got some shops it's got a Hobby Lobby it's got a Dick's Sport Shop a five below and Kirkland's and then there's also a food place but it looks weird um, so we went in Dick's because Drew loves sports we went in five below because I love it and Drew decided that um, he wants stuff to play with in the pool and on the beach well as we like carry on down the coast so we got this aqua saucer thing it says that you fill it up and then as you throw it it all splishes out again so that looks fun um and then also he wanted a ball he wanted a ball but he couldn't really find the one that he wanted because for some reason it's really picky i don't know um and then he found it on the way out, so I left him so that I could turn the aircon on and cool down the car for us. And he's just buying that. Well, I guess I'll show you that later. I don't know. Oh, I forgot to mention in the sports shop, um, Drew's been going on about these Gatorade bottles because all of the athletes have them because they're sponsored by them. So um, we managed to get one of these on offer for like four dollars. He's back, so he's going to show you ball and. Um, explain why this one was so much better. It is the ball. It just bounces really well. That's it. It's a good bounce. There were so many bouncy balls. No, it's like designed for water and it's expertly so, engineered. It's a good bag of them. Sweet. Look, I'm not gonna lie, it still works out of water. It's not, it's not like you throw it out of water and it just doesn't, it just keeps going up. I forgot about that. Yeah, you also got a PST which I had to carry. You know what, mate? For your trouble, you can have a seat. Can I send you a letter in the mail? Yeah, I just want to know. Can I be with you? Let me know today. What's that? Excuse me. Thank you. I'm going to montage on top of this. Bam 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 da I want more I want fabulous that is my simple request I just wanna know if that's alright 
know that I must see my food. I'm just blinded by you. Hello. So as you can see, we are back from the pool. And it wasn't my best idea ever because I can't do handstands. But I challenged Drew to do pool handstands. He didn't take the challenge, but I did. And um, I kicked my legs and kind of swam forward at the same time downwards. The pool was only three and a half foot deep and I ended up with this bad boy. So we'll see how it goes in the morning. I'm hoping that it's going to go down. <laughs> Bless you. I'm hoping that it's going to go down, but I mean, it's not looking wonderful. a sly lion this morning it was very exciting and then we've been for lunch no we haven't we've been for breakfast we had toast stuff at the famous toastery and we also have mimosas and now we're gonna go to South End we're gonna hire the lime scooters again because they're our favorites if you haven't seen us try lime scooters before go to the Washington vlog like a limestone cowboy. screwed up and we didn't use the restroom in the toast place so we got the scooters to South End they're doing it up so it's really nice I've got some really cute places we ended up going we went in a restaurant so that we could use the restroom and then we ended up having to sit and have food so I had a dessert and Joe had some noodles um, <laughs> just so that we could use the restroom it's a bit annoying but it was nice anyway it was really trendy um, then Drew taught me all about the brain drain problem that they've got here that he's learnt in uni. Um, and then what else have we done? We've just scoot scooted back. Scoot scooted. Scoot scooted. Uh, so we're now back in like the central bit where we've got the hotel and whatnot because we're downtown. Um, I think we're going to go to the mall. There's a chance we could go to the pool again, but I'm unsure. And then we've got um, the 1975 tonight. Drew would like me to clarify that he learned about the brain drain in geography, but not about the brain drain in Charlotte. He figured it out from all the shops that were around. Yeah? Is that good enough? Yeah. Smart boy. As you can see we're back from the pool we got ready because we're going to this concert um basically we've booked into this ho hotel we're on this like premium like membership thing because uh just someone we know has it so we got them to book it for us um and that means that we get a free drink and snack in the restaurant so we thought like oh we'll go downstairs get some appetizers have our free drink and snack before we go and we got there and all of the appetizers were like $28 and obviously we're not going to do that so um probably not going to use this drink and snack just because we feel awkward going back because as we realized this and stood up to leave the man that sat us down came back over with two drinks and he was just like standing there like uh, whilst we all made awkward eye contact and we had to say so um, now we're back in the room and we're looking for like a Burger King or something. We tried. Also, update on the head. 
It's still red. Feels very bruised. It's my own fault.